Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Perfect introduction to our chat with the newly confirmed Mayor of the Hura Whenua, Bernie Wanden. Good morning and congratulations to you. Uh, thank you very much, John. It's uh, very interesting to see uh, you've declared your final results ahead of many of the rest. You declared your preliminary results extraordinarily early on Saturday, and that's despite the fact that you had a really good turnout of people. Near enough to 55% of people eligible voted uh, in, the, in the election, and that must be very pleasing for you, Bernie. Uh, look, uh, yeah, that's certainly very satisfying. Uh, it certainly shows that the uh, community were engaged and interested in this election, and I think they deserve a huge pat on the back for mm. the way they've responded in terms of the, the team that has been elected. Uh, we've got a fantastic uh, bunch of people, uh, experienced and uh, new both, and with a good range of diversity there. So, look, it's very exciting. Great stuff. Uh, it's been a difficult three years, though, Bernie. Do you think the fact that uh, it has on occasions been embarrassing was the fact that so many people were engaged this time in the election? Look, I think, um, look, none of what happened in the last three years has probably reflected that well on any of us. Um, but, look, I, I've, that's passed. Uh, we've got to look forward now. Um, I think the community want us to forget about what's happened in the last three years, but just move on and get on with the job of actually delivering some really positive outcomes for this community. Well, you're moving on already. You're having the meetings, sorting out who's doing what. Uh, you've mentioned that you've got some new blood in there. And uh, um, I see David Allen. Now, is he new blood or not, um, Bernie? Because he has been here before, hasn't he? Uh, David has. So yeah. David brings a huge amount of experience mm. back to the table. Um, he had a number of terms as um, a councillor, and he's recently been on the Foxton Community Board as well. Indeed. Uh, I'm really delighted to have him back, but also welcoming uh, the new the new blood that we have, uh, Robert Ketu from Miranui, and in Levin here, Sam Jennings and Todd Isaacs. It's um, you know, a great little mix there, I think. I think as well. Now, what are your priorities for the new triennium? Uh, look, it, it, just getting everybody on board, moving in the same direction, probably initially. Uh, we've got some real uh, issues facing us over the next three years, but um, for now, it's just about establishing that base and uh, making sure that uh, we know where we're heading. Now, what's the effect been on the staff, do you think, of the last three years? Uh, I have to tell you, Bernie, that every time I have dealt with the staff at the Horofinua District Council, they have been friendly, they've been efficient, they've been a delight to work with. And I thought, well, good on you, because I imagine on occasions it must have been difficult. Oh, look, I think that's a reflection of the, the leadership within the, uh, the management and the staff here. Uh, they've remained, I think, uh, extremely professional. Mm. Um, and I'm sure that they will continue the good work um, that they've had over the, or done over the last three years. Uh, it will just now mean that they'll be able to focus on that work rather than having to, yeah. um, you know, put out fires and um, answer lots of other sort of sideline inquiries that they've had to deal with. Speaking of putting out fires, water is pretty important in that kind of context. Do you think that water is one of the uh, issues that will you'll be focused on as a council? Uh, definitely. Um, and we had signalled in our long-term plan that we are setting up a water working party, which will involve uh, all uh, sectors of the community and uh, all those that stakeholders are, as part of that water. Uh, and that where we go in our future, what we, uh, and there's, I mean, it's a huge subject, uh, but, you know, we're, we're keen to make sure that we deliver to our community um, in all aspects of the world. Something that came out in the last few days that impressed me enormously was the housing initiative. What do you think the role of local government is in housing, Bernie? Uh, look, uh, that initiative is certainly, I think, uh, a leader in, uh, for local government in New Zealand. Um, and I would, uh, first of all, like to acknowledge the work that the, our past uh, retiring councillor, Barry Judd, did in that space. Uh, but also the work of the staff within the building have done a fantastic mm. job. Um, look, housing is a major issue right throughout the country. We're not the only ones that have got that issue. Uh, and if we can enable and facilitate and assist 
in trying to make housing easier and more affordable for people then. I mean, we, we've got to do everything we can. The Productivity Commission released a report which basically says that uh, most of the jobs are being created in, in the big towns, in the, the Aucklands and the Wellingtons, uh, a dramatic increase in employment in those areas, 48%. Some of the smaller towns are having issues, particularly single industry towns. Now, Levin is a really interesting Example, because that was the centre of light industry for many, many years. Caravans and fabrics and so many things were being produced and live in. And many of those have moved on now. But the other thing the Productivity Commission said is that towns with good climate and attractive surrounds have got a future. And that is happening in the Hortofinima. Heaps of people piling in. And you seem to be issuing many building permits as well. Uh, we certainly do. Um, look, for, I've been here for 35 years. Probably for 30 years of that, we're pretty much stagnated. So it's fantastic to see that with the building of infrastructure and the way that the community have responded to that has meant that, especially over the last three years, our growth is something that we've never, we never really anticipated or have experienced. Um, I think the, the roading to the south of us has suddenly um, opened up a whole new um, cohort of people who have suddenly realised that if I can drive to Wellington in an hour, um, you know, we're, people in Auckland do that, you know, every day. Yep. Um, we, we are opening ourselves up uh, for uh, a great future, I believe, in that space. Now, in that space, of course, there is still controversy about the Otaki north of Levin Highway. Latest we hear from NZTA is that work is continuing, but it's highly unlikely that any soil will be turned for a decade. What's your opinion about that? Uh, look, that is a challenge. Um, the good news is that uh, before, a couple of weeks ago, we thought uh, that the business case wasn't even going to be done. Uh, but at least now uh, NZTA have found some funding to be able to get the designation finalised. Now that will take two or three years, uh, but at least the community will know uh, where the proposed route is going to go and how their lives are going to be affected. Mm. Now, regardless of whether funding is found today or in that two or three years space, we were always going to be probably eight to ten years away before it got going. Uh, obviously, uh, also, um, we are hoping that, um, you know, politics within the country as a whole um, will alter, um, you know, and there's, hopefully there will be some funding um, designated for, for our road uh, in the future, because I do think that the road is really important for the whole country, not just this part of the, the region, but um, it's certainly for those um, territorial authorities to the north of here. Uh, and will open up opportunities for them as well. And what's your view on whether it should be a, a two-lane or a four-lane highway? Oh, look, it will definitely be a four-lane highway. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think they initially said two-lane just to try and save some money initially. Uh, we've been told that the designation will um, and the plans will definitely be for a four-lane highway. And I think by the time they actually come to build it, I don't think there'll be any option but for them to do that. But down uh, in the, the Kapiti Coast area, the uh, KCDC formed what was virtually a syndicate with uh, NZTA and uh, had uh, a lot of say over where and how that expressway uh, was developed. Do you think that the Horofenua District Council should enter such an arrangement? Look, I'm sure we will, um, John, and I'm very um, already uh, sort of satisfied that there is enough people around the whole bottom half of the North Island who are keen for us to continue this uh, road. Uh, and I'm sure that there will be, uh, there's a lot of work already being done in that space. And um, look, I've already had talks with a couple of mayors around the region and there is keen as we are for that road to be built so I'm sure they'll want to be part of everything that we do. Great stuff well I happen to know you're on the job already and you've been having meetings this morning beginning to allocate responsibilities great to see you hitting the ground running and perhaps we can have a chat again sometime Bernie. Look forward to it John um, and, and 
just to all the public out there, just thank you very much. I'm very honoured and privileged to be in this role and looking forward to the challenge uh, of the next three years. Bernie Wandon, Mayor of the Hula thank you very much for your time. 106.3 BGFM.